<laughs> How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Hey, good morning. I need to make a t-shirt that says I got Wiley with me today. I hope you got the gnats. Dude, it's, it's the gnats. Nat off with you. The gnats are crazy here. Yeah. It's a really cool Will It Start video we got for you today. It's an old auto car. Let's take a look at it. Wiley, this thing's awesome, dude. It is. It's, it's classic. It's just... So I got, I brought my uh, chainsaw. Are you? What? What are you doing over there? You mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> I hear this spray, this spray, and I was like, "What in the world?" Hey, Hank. What? Before I forget about it, I wonder if anybody can tell us about these, the stars. Every, you know, I've noticed all the internationals, trans stars, pay stars, fleet star stuff like load that. Load stars. Load star. Yeah. I wonder is that just the star series? If anybody knows a little bit of history about that. That's a good question. Leave a comment below if you know the difference between like Paystar, Transstar, Lodestar. I brought a cordless chainsaw, so we're gonna jump in here that way. Let me get this, uh, all these pine trees off this thing and we will um, kind of look at the machine itself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's sort of different. There, that one got the engine out of it. So, so you that, think this was the bench? Yeah, this was the workbench. Let's see what this one's together. Watch out for, uh, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks. Oh, there's a fan on top of it. Oh, the fan's off of it. Well, garbage. Yeah, the fan sitting on top of the motor. Well, I don't, it might have ran wind park, but it ain't running now. Okay. I don't, I'm looking for a, ain't it oh. got some type of. Should. Of course, this was for OSHA. Yeah. Was created. They wouldn't care about. Them. What's the deal with all these little brackets? These little plates behind there. So you're saying it'll still start? I'm not saying it'll start. If it. I mean, it'll crank. I think so. I, they might have just robbed the fan to. Yeah. Okay. What they've done? They robbed the 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 uh, water pump, right? I would assume they so. just laid the fan yeah. out there. Yeah, that's right. They, okay. Well, then we won't run it long. How's that? Hey, I want to take this minute to thank Upside for sponsoring today's video. Whether you're getting gas or you're at a restaurant, inflation's hurting us all. There's actually ways to get cash back when you use an app called Upside. Upside is super easy to use. Check into the business that you're going to, the gas station or the restaurant. You claim the offer that they have, pay as usual, and start earning cash back. To get started, download the free Upside app from the App Store or Google Play and use my promo code HF10 and you'll get $5 or more back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Start using it today. So go download the Upside app today. Use my promo code HF10 and you'll get $5 or more your first purchase of $10 or more. You're going to get some money back throughout the course of the year. It's a great app, super easy to use. Check it out today. Because this truck is actually for sale. If you're interested in this truck, it's, it's for sale. Uh, he may partner it with this other auto car over here. I'll try to get more, you know, more footage of that here in a minute. To be honest with you, while I'd kind of be hesitant to crank this thing up, you know? I don't want to, I don't want this guy's motor to. Well, I don't see how it hurt. Just hear it bust off and. Make sure it ain't locked up type yeah. deal. Okay. Right. Yeah. Do you? No, nah, but okay. So here, here's the deal. We're going to, we'll do the will it start video on it and we'll try to crank it, but we're not going to let it run more than a minute. Right. You know, uh, because we definitely don't want to tear anything up. But it, it will at least, if you're interested in buying something like that, it'll give you an idea if the engine's locked up or whatever the case. I was looking at this, is usually when I see stuff like that, it's a block heater, but then I think, in Florida? <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, Hank, it, it might not be the water pump. This may be the water pump, because I don't oh, see the... Oh, radi it's got a radiator hose going to it. Yeah. Maybe they just took maybe the fan Maybe it's just off. a hub assembly. Maybe it's a fan hub assembly they borrowed. Maybe, mm -hmm. uh, maybe it wasn't a... Yeah. That's what it was, a fan hub assembly, and they just didn't need the fan, they needed right. the hub assembly. Yeah. This is why I tell we're not mechanics. 
<laughs> did, we, did, we tell you, did we tell our viewers we're not mechanics? <laughs> so the water should circulate. Look at that. Look how it landed. <laughs> Good thing your toe wasn't around. Um, yeah. Okay. That'll work. Speaking while we're here. Yeah, check and see if it's got water, I reckon. Mm, no. <laughs> well, when they took... Well, I, I say when they took the fan off, but then it got nothing to do with water, does it? Okay. Well, while we're here, this is kind of going backwards in our process, but hey, we like changing things up, don't we? Well, I tell you what, sometimes it's better to do that rather than go ahead and cutting the bushes out of it. Yeah, that's right. We go ahead and look at oh, that. Oh, well, that thing's making all. There's the marks there. Here. Look at you, Wiley. Bringing me out to this piece, and it's got a lot. <laughs> this thing's making a hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well, let's reverse the thing. Let's put the batteries in it. See yeah. if it's yeah. Rather than getting the chainsaw out and cutting this putt wood. Yeah. Okay. We can cut the putt wood out if they like it. So. Because uh, now we can't drive it or nothing. Right, right, right. Watch a, um Okay, let's do this too. We'll go ahead. Let me sh let's try to look at the data plate at the door, and we will uh, see what kind of see what year it is. We'll see how many miles the the, the clock shows. It may not be the miles on the engine, but at least what the sh the truck shows. And then um, and then we'll show them the inside, and then we'll go go from there. What do you think? Okay. I don't. Well, let's look on the other side as while we're, let's open up the other side while we're. We all over the place in this video. We are. <laughs> That's all right. People like that keeps 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 the viewers on their toes. You know what I mean? I still don't know. This is this is pretty cool. What is all this stuff? These diamond plate. These you know these square. They're on rivets of some. They're on the rivets. Well, that one is, but not all of them. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Interesting. All right, let's go. Let's go open up that other now, side. That'd be interesting to hear the comments. Yeah, leave that. me a comment. If you know what those little, those little thin steel plates are for. That's interesting. Okay, let's look at uh, the other side of the engine. Then we'll open up the cab. Catching on something, man. Let yeah. me go look at the other side. Or you go look at the other side. I'll hold Why don't it. We uh. Yeah. Let me pick up the other side and see if it'll change. Okay. Don't fall off, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the, the motors out of that white one right there. We'll take a look at that one, too, before we leave. But it's got the headlights on it. Yeah, so a lot of you were asking about... I actually called Matt from Diesel Creek and asked him if he wanted those headlights, and, and I guess him and the owner just couldn't get on, uh, get together on something. But Yeah, there you go. So if Matt knows about this stuff. People, A lot of people leave comments about... You need to contact Matt from Diesel Creek. Okay, now this goes down. There you go. There you go. Well, I did I did contact Matt from Diesel Creek and uh him and the owner just couldn't come to come to terms on some of the stuff. But this I mean you know, it is what it is, right? Hey, this thing still got the data plate on the engine, ain't? Right? All right. That's rare. Oh yeah, sure does, don't it? Yeah. It'll tell us the year that engine was manufactured, the size and everything. Yeah. If somebody with good eyes could read you it. You can read it or you're stuck. Yeah, no, I'm good. Here, hold that way, buddy. Sure. Don't let that fall on my head. It is. Don't let that fall on my head. <laughs> He's getting his bifocal. <laughs> That's right. Uh. 290 looks like 855 somewhere right in there is going to be your data manufacturing probably up in that area toward that the end one way or the other yeah i don't know i can't see okay i can't tell What's but it? it's a two oh man yeah i'm not sure Oh boy. Check it out, dude. Batteries under the passenger seat. There's a lot of data on there. I can't see it. You need my glasses. Ain't wearing your glasses. Come on, man. Here, for real. What y'all don't see behind the camera is Wiley squinting. I'm not giving up. <laughs> 
What y'all are saying now is Hank trying to make his way through. <laughs> I ain't, ain't as limber as I used to be. No friends or nothing, huh? Mm -mm, no, it's clean up here. Let me check it out while I show them the dashboard here. This is a really cool dash, man. It's so cool. It shows one, two, three, seven, five, nine. So probably a million one would be my guess. Good gosh. 1.123759. I don't know if it's got hours on it or not. Sometimes they have hours on it. Fuel gauge glass is broken. No key. The headliner in good shape. Dash is in decent shape. All right. Let me go to that data plate where I can see with my young eyes. I got something here, Wally. Chassis cab manufactured by the White Motor Corporation, May of 1980. Wow. 42 year old tractor. Let's see what the door says. I honestly thought it was older. Yeah, I didn't know that they made them that. I wonder when the last when they rolled out was. Yeah, trying to get. Yeah, two a 280 motor or 290. This is just a. It's a 36. It's a 00936-4B Bravo for the model. There's the ID, the VIN number. Yeah. You just want, like you say, you just want to throw some batteries on it and see if it yeah. turns over. Look at this suspension right here. I bet you that was a smooth ride. Wow. Look at that. Look at the thickness of them springs, leaves. Yeah, those leaves. Yeah. Golly. Yeah, this is all right. Well, you know. This sucker was not rocking and rolling when you had something on it. No. It there. For sure. Look at that, where they beefed up the frame. Yeah. Which is kind of weird because you wouldn't think that um, houses that they moved, I mean, how heavy is a house? You know what I mean? You would think that these cars would actually pull more weight than a house. You know what I mean? Maybe that had to do it just to keep the, the way the weight's distributed, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah. All right. Am I, not, am I not cutting trees? Is that what you're telling me? Well, you can if you want to. Well, I, I can access the batteries over there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to sneak out here. Golly. Go ahead, young man. Oh, you want me to scrape some of these briars off? Yeah, I want you to grab all those spider webs on the way out. All right, let me just, I'll just cut this top, top off this tree. Okay. Just this one. Hank, did you notice that even though it did blow over, how that top was turning up, coming to the sun mm -hmm. after it got? Yep. It's, it's not going to turn to the sun anymore. <laughs> turn your love around. Dun, 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 dun. Track number seven on our greatest hits album. Yeah. See, that's what you actually call a skidding. You're skidding now. I'm skidding. Look at that's me. I'm a, a skidder. skidder does. I tell you what, I got some more skids I don't I want to talk about what, in the skid, video, you know what I mean? Skidder done, boy, <laughs> skidder done. done. I didn't realize I was going to be logging today. I, let me tell you something, I get comments, pros and cons on this little saw. Yeah. People are like, why don't you just bring gas pedal? I'm telling you, this little booger right here for stuff like this, yeah. it's been amazing. Just dude. a lot handier, isn't it? Man, it is. Whew. Boy, it's 10 degrees cooler in this shade, ain't it, buddy? I think I done got so fat that when I drop my car keys, yeah. it's easier just to go buy a new vehicle. <laughs> That's right. I'm there with you. That's hilarious. You gonna figure out this thing? You gonna figure out how to get this thing wired up when we get it? You got. You took the lead, Hank. You gave me the camera. All right. Well, I figured out. I then. need silent on the set. Uh, quiet on the set. If you haven't seen the video where we find this thing, uh, go back and check it out. I'll link it up here in this corner. 
a bunch of rat droppings in here, Wiley. Should have brought a magnet. Um, so I wonder, is that 24 volt or these? Uh, well, let's look and see. I would not think so. Positive, negative. Yeah, so these are parallel. So, you're right. Oh, that one's got a nut down in there. I'll do some surgery on this one. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're gonna have to take that bracket out probably to yeah. do anything. Well, else. I gotta cut around this of my so my uh, crescent wrench can grab that corner of that. Oh. The nuts the nuts there. Yeah, we're, yeah we're, no use us getting a socket. We're gonna use the crescent <laughs> No, it's a socket still won't fit. Okay. It might have to, I gotta cut this off I'm regardless. Hank, you don't have to explain that. I today. gotta cut this off irregardless. You ever hear anybody use it? So the, melt, the rubber just melted to the... Something. Yeah. Anyway. Always cut towards your buddy, not your body. And the drive shaft side of it coming out of the transmission. Is it? Which is not unusual. You know, they probably twist a lot of drive shafts pulling that heavy stuff. Wiley, the nuts broke on this. You know? It got hot then. You think? I don't know if it broke, did it? No, the, like literally the nuts broke. Like cracked in two. Are you turning it though? Let me. That's cause I. You wanna hold that? There you go. All right, get it, go ahead. See? I broke that. <laughs> You're so I strong. Just grabbed it. You're so strong. All right. I know this ain't nowhere near right, but I wonder if it's two sets of batteries to power something else on the truck, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. What do you think? I'm, I don't know. Because, I mean, you see the... I'll have to get in here and see if these leads go... eventually connect together, but... I guess the next question is, can we... just use... can we just use this one side to spin the engine over? Yeah, I think so, but I think all four of them go, because that... It looks like a manufactured battery box. Yeah. And they converted this truck into the moving. Right. I can say they did. Yeah. All right, let me let me throw some liquid wrench on it. White Motor Corporation made some heavy duty rear end suspensions. That sucker. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh let me throw some liquid wrench on it on the battery uh box hold down, tie downs, hold downs. Okay. Brackets, whatever you call. The two ways to spray penetrating oil. Uh, just in case we end up having to do those later. Oh, I don't know, let's put the right one. Well, I've never seen a top like that before on the spray. Yeah, it's two ways to spray. Anyway. Well, we're good. All right. Let me go grab my sockets. Get you some. Get you some. You want to guess the size? Nine sixteen. Oh, you're so smart. Look at that. That makes it, makes it easy, don't it? Sometimes. Uh, there's not one in the middle. You man hands, huh? That's like you're going in for some, <laughs> some banana pudding or something. something. All right, let me grab my battery toting tools. Hold on. Ugh. These things right here are the joke, oh, yeah. too. That's, that's nice. Whether you talk, tote one battery a year or 100, that's the thing to have right there. Yeah, no kidding. I actually saw... Everybody knows I'm friends, or if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I'm, I'm buddies with Watch West Work, and I seen him using it, and I said, well, if he's going to use one, I'm going to use one. So, it worked great. It's simple, simple physics, you know? Well, we're not doing any good for the manufacturing there. No, it's good. On. I just, this side of here ain't, 
out this side over here. There you got it. Got to. Coat that there. Yeah. Got to get around that foam, you know? Yep. Or a piece of wood or something in there. Those are extra heavy duty batteries by CarQuest. No, they're extra heavy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so let's. You just want to take these jumpers on? Yeah. And, and out of the. Just really remove the batteries. Oh, that made quick work. And then we'll just have one battery here to the main going to the start, and that'd be the main going to the start. And yeah. Because these two outside batteries are just. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Or is it, you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> that's right. Okay, so we need to remember that that's, that's positive. Yeah. So this one must be positive as well. Yeah, positive. And these shorter ones are, okay, I'll try to remember that. Well, that won't be long, you'll know. <laughs> kind of self-critiquing, ain't it? Yeah. We're just going to remove that, that battery and actually leave that one in there. Oh, just this one? Yeah. Okay. And you can actually set that one on the outside over at your... I'll just drop it on the ground while I go that. I was about to say you didn't have it. Yeah, I can't... It's that one they got right there. It keeps them from rubbing together and rubbing a hole on them. Sure. <laughs> Easy, lemon squeezy. And I think that'll get us. Yeah, that'll get it. That'll get us enough juice to turn it over. See what it's going to do. Yeah, for sure. You should put the positive on first, right? Ain't that what they say? I thought negative on first. No, that way it ain't grounded. Okay. I think. I think it's how it works. <laughs> I ain't never been wrong, but there's one time I hadn't been right. There was just one time that I wasn't right. <laughs> I think the positive goes on this one. I need to tighten those down. I need to start that one. Where the volt, the battery gauge come up? Did it? Mm-hmm. Right, cool. Of course, it could have been up. <laughs> oh, right, right. Tighten these down. People are, people think about these will it start videos, you know, it's like, man, this thing, I can't believe it fired up after so many times. One, we're not mechanics. Number two, a lot of times it's just hot batteries. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just hot batteries and figuring out how to get the fuel to it. And it people, is a super start, fleet, and heavy duty. Yeah. The other one's just heavy duty. That's right. These, These are, are super. Sleep. <laughs> but uh, good grounds are important. Not coffee grounds. <laughs> Battery lead grounds. Not hash grounds. I mean, not <laughs> hash browns. And then another thing is, uh, people always ask, what do we do with them? Well, this one, this one is for sale, like we mentioned earlier in the video. We always sell, and people are like, oh, you need to take it home to restore it. We don't restore nothing. Put a buyer in touch with the seller, basically. And that's how we get these things new lives. Sometimes we get videos of them working again. Sometimes we don't, you know. But we had, what do you think, Wilder? Maybe 50% of the time we get a follow-up on these things? Yeah. When you go back and look, you, you really get a lot more than you think you did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. People are like, why don't you put that impact? I don't, I don't use an impact on stuff where I'm not sure. That way, you know what I mean? I don't want to ruin the threads on our new batteries. So I'll just be patient and use a crescent wrench. Where's we a key? <laughs> I got one right here. <laughs> now we need a flathead. That's a oh, okay. Well, dang. Man, you're not much of a thief, man. Ta-da! All right. Knock a smaller one, too. 
Oh gosh, man. <laughs> Big beggars can't be choosers. Smaller one. Let's see your uh Let's see your crescent wrench. Oh there you go. Yeah, like you here you go. Why. You've act like you've hot wired a car before a while. Oh, this, ain't, this ain't actually you you want I mean if you're doing this, you don't want to take this much time to do this. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing well, in there? What's that siren? There must be an ambulance coming by here. How y'all doing? It took y'all long enough to get... Oh my gosh. See there? That's just not your regular old... Everything's heavy duty in this truck, ain't it? Telling you. Uh... Crap. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Have we got a little bit of wire? Like a jumper wire? Yeah, something. Yeah, we can... do. All right, let me run to the truck. We got a little light there. That light ain't burning. Oh, look here. The light on the, your cab light come on, too, behind your head. Now? Behind, uh, no, but behind your head, the door, when we hook the batteries up, I guess. Is it on now? The cab? Yeah, look. <laughs> look at there. <laughs> is there one up there? There's not one on this side, is there? I was wondering how, well, well good. Okay. It's a three prong. We're getting fire to the starter. Yeah. That's always a good thing, right? Oh, okay. Let's see right here. Let's see if I can get this thing. Oh, there I heard it. Is. Yeah. It's got a starter button. Uh, yeah, that makes sense, don't it? Let me let me scan that back and wrap it around there. There's nothing. Then when you get that hot. Oh, the air warning. Okay, thank you. It's a 13 speed. Okay. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Did it get hot? Or was it shocking no, you? No. <laughs> was it shocking or get hot? Hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got some alligator clips somewhere. Maybe this this ain't gonna be enough. I ain't got no more than two, that's all I got. Oh. Uh, can you see if it's if the bottom pull is turning any? Okay, let me look. No, nothing's turning. Nothing's moving at all. It might be locked up, Wiley. Let me go down the other side. Double check. Golly. Oh, it's better view over here. Go ahead. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Turning? I'm, it's 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 moving. This one was moving just a little bit. I don't know, buddy. Don't sound promising, does it? I mean, not unless we've hooked them up wrong. Yeah, I don't know, buddy. Because I, I just, uh, I mean, we could throw the truck on it, I guess, but that ain't, I just ain't got enough, surely it's got enough amps to at least turn it over. 950. Hey, uh, let's see that. What's the longest jumper wire? Yeah, let's see that one and let's hook the two grounds together. Yeah, okay. To make sure. All right. We can do that. Yeah, I think that worked just fine. Well, I thought they had one without the. I thought they had one with just a, not the rubber ends on them, but I, I guess it don't matter, does it? You gonna put the jumpers on this one? Yeah. That way we know we got them. At least two batteries are helping. Yeah. And if it makes a difference, then we'll know. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't a smart you're so, man. You're so smart. It didn't bring the gauge up a lot, but maybe Hank did on the, the amps. Yeah. Cranking amps, I guess. I 
I, it, it, it sounds locked up, don't it? Yeah. Well, I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds locked up. Those batteries are good too. We just used those yesterday. But you know, the last we've had some on these. When you put that third battery to them, it seems like it just gives the right amps to. Yeah. Well, do you want me to run my? I'll pull my truck up here just to see. Wiley is looking for some, that. We're going to check that other um, truck to see the keys are in it, and I'm going to hook up jumper cables. This thing. I'll crank my truck up. Are all old car keys interchangeable? Like heavy, like like skid steers and let's stuff. See, like John we? Deere truck. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Maybe that'll work. That's a good call. Looking for that, Wiley. Mm. You want that liquid wrench? I guess. Um, but I don't think they're interchangeable. No. No. Well, maybe you're not so smart after all. Uh. <laughs> did bring the gauge up some when you put the batteries on there. Okay, good. Well, I'll be doggone. Yeah, we couldn't get that lucky, could we? Nope. All right, it's been sitting a minute. Have you got an egg? <laughs> I know, good Lord. It's hot. All right. Been sitting a minute. Let's see if it cranks. All right, bud, try again. Well, definitely the amp gauge has come yep. up a lot. That's for sure. All right. Let me hold my sound. How was I holding my tongue? I forgot. <laughs> huh? Ain't you see if it see if it turned over any if I hold it down? Okay, hold on. Get in on this side where I can actually see the engine. All right, go ahead. No. Yeah, it's turning. Keep doing that. Huh? Yeah, keep doing it. Let me, uh, hold on a second, Wiley. All right, go ahead. Yeah, she's turning big time. There it goes. Yeah. Yeah. It was she, stuck though. What's that? It was stuck a little bit. It was stuck a little it bit. Grown then. We're gonna need more amp, Hank. I know it. At least we know it's not locked. Yeah, you know it's not locked up. The grounds aren't. You know they was real hot to the touch. You remember a minute ago yeah. when we was trying to do it? Yeah. So I think we grounded it much better than we had it. Right. And we just I'm, ain't got enough amps. I don't think we got enough amps. I think the engine probably was stuck a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if we made a complete turn. I hope we did. Not yet. I, I, I took the marker and ran okay. across there and it hadn't went all the way across yet. So we can try that. You're building back up to kind of where you was. Yeah. Uh, okay. Man, I wish I had another come, battery. We can just come back and bring another battery. And have another, make another video of this thing cranking. Yeah. Or starting. Starting. All right. Add it to it. Yeah. The blinkers work. No, I wouldn't <laughs> have this thing. <laughs> you want to get back up there? And let's bump it some more and just see if it's. All right. Well, we go through the trouble. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Mm. It's not moving, dude. 
Yeah. Because when it spun just a minute ago, it went wrong. Yeah. It? Well, it was more of a uh, but yeah. I thought it was a wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it's not moving at all. Remember, uh, remember the Detroit, or actually that Champion Grader, it got stuck on a high spot, remember? Yeah. So to speak. You know what I mean? And we just kept on and on and on. We never got it. That not. I'm talking about that. The champion we cranked I'm so, No, the, the galleon. That's it. The galleon that yeah. we still ain't cranked. No. Remember it got to that one rough spot and we had that breaker bar in there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't know, Wiley. That's kind of tough. Yeah. You run across them sometimes. You run across them sometimes. Yeah, I guess the condensation just sits in there and it just... I, I don't know exactly how it happens when it's sealed, but yeah. it, it's some kind of condensation gets in there and the, and the pistons just... I would think that I would think that if we had a couple more batteries, we might be all right. Yeah. But I mean, we are out in the middle of nowhere, yeah, it's hot. and it's hot. Yeah. yeah. Um, this this auto car is for sale. Hank at HamiltonvilleFarm.com is my email if you're interested in purchasing it. It's not locked up. It's not. No. You know, it's just uh, it, needs, it needs a little help. And the one beside them, yeah. they might can buy for parts for it too. Yeah, that's right. This might be a package deal. And also, Hank, if somebody does buy it, they have something here to load it with. That's always a big issue. Oh, yeah. They have equipment to push it on a low boy and get you out of here. Yeah, that's true, too. But, uh, yeah, so if you're looking for a 1980 auto car, that's, uh, that's, I mean, the inside's in good shape. Yeah. Inside's in real good shape. The uh, motor's the got... The light's working. Yeah. What's that work? <laughs> just, just a tad of play in the steering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, man... It's getting lunchtime, buddy. All right, I'm going to hit it one more time. All right, hit it one more time. And we'll call it good. All right. What do say now, batter? Hey, batter, batter, now swing. No, it's not even doing nothing. Dude. All right. All right. Wiley. Hey. Let's go home. Let's do it. Let's go eat. Hey, you had me there. <laughs> I'll have these batteries out in the jiffy. <laughs> Yeah, let's go you grab just go the... cool off. I'll get it. Yeah, listen, I'm gonna go sit in the air. He's gonna wrap up here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't win them all. Uh, you know, if you if you had some, if you had some other stuff to bring with you and some more batteries and stuff, I think you could. I think you could get I this. I think so too. Uh, and who knows? We may come back and do a part two on it, but not not in this video. There you go. So, if I tell you what, if we get enough support from the likes and the comments and the in this. We'll come back. Okay. It's about a two hour drive, something like that from the house. So uh, give us some time. This video, we're recording it in July. You're not gonna see it till mid to late. You probably won't see it till mid to late August uh, if you watch it when it comes out. So maybe, you know, we'll come back in October or something like that. If it ain't sold, if you wanna buy it, hank at hamiltonvillefarm.com and we might make a video of you coming to get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, you, if we sell it to a viewer that goes through me uh, me and Wiley will treat you to lunch when you, uh, when or Wiley will treat you to lunch when. Edit, edit <laughs> that part out. We appreciate you guys watching. Can't all be winners, right? And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. God bless. Take care.